Hello guys, it's Christo here and we haven't seen each other in a long while but hopefully that's gonna change with me posting new videos more regularly now. So basically in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a looping flank cloth. Um, I, I haven't seen any tutorial on YouTube because if you go onto other tutorials on YouTube you would basically find something like a plane with and with, with segments, uh, shift C, you would have jiggle, um, turbulence, and smoothing. Oops, not this one. And it would basically look something like this turbulence would be like 150. Uh, let's convert the plane and jiggle like this. And here we need to apply the force. So basically this is the, oops, not like this, yes, uh, we need to increase the, the strength, yes. So basically it would look something like this, okay? So um, this is like a flying club, we can like further tweak it, you know, that's not a problem. But the thing is, with jiggle you can't loop it. And most of the time if you are doing something like this, you would like to loop it, I suppose. So uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to exactly do that. And uh, the way to do that is we need to get rid of jiggle because we can't loop jiggle. I couldn't find any tutorial or anything on YouTube on how to loop jiggle. So we're gonna get rid of that. And we have the plane with the subdivisions. We need to have like 50 by 50. I'll show you again. Uh, you create a plane. 50 by 50 you can increase it but it's gonna take up uh, like more memory of your computer so i think 50 by 50 is like a great balance and by pressing the key c press c and you are con gonna convert it into a polygon object so now shift c for a uh, search and we're gonna search for cloth okay so let's apply it and also cloth belt so uh, first we're gonna set the cloth belt and what is cloth belt it's basically like um it's basically like a constraint or um a points which are like uh stiff you know you have the cloth which is like moving everywhere and you have some points that are stiff i will show you how to do that we go to point mode and we're gonna select uh three points in every corner so let's do that um Yes, like this. Uh, we have the selection and we are gonna store it. So let's store the selection and we have it right here. Uh, to, to, to set the belt tag, you need to put the plane into a belt. You can belt it on other objects, but we need we want to belt it on these points. So we belt it on the same plane and then we set the points. And if they turn yellow, you're basically know that you've done a good job. <laughs> so now we, if we simulate, I'll show you how uh, what the points do. So this is the belt, like you see, they are stiff, they are in the same position and the cloth is moving. Uh, this looks nice, but it's not really <laughs> what we want to, what we don't do. So um, to, to change the cloth tag in order to not fall down like that and be more like swirling around, we want to decrease the gravity to around minus three. So that's already going to make it fall like... Uh, little bit less and we want to increase the the wind and we want to make it in all directions um, you can only make it in the up direction but we also want to move it like from side to side and we're gonna increase the strength uh, the turbulence strength and the turbulence speed something like this you can tweak it uh, to your liking but it's gonna you see it's it looks much better uh, we're going to tweak it even more and we're going to make the timeline much longer. Do something like, um, let's do something like 250, okay? And so, uh, and we also want to tweak this tag. Uh, let's decrease the stiffness, uh, the bounce on it to something like 15 uh, and friction 30. And what we're going to also do, we're going to uh, increase the size of this in the beginning, but then we're going to pull it back. So if I will show you if we if we play, if we hit play, 
it's gonna look something like that and if we increase the size they're gonna be more of the cloth so it's gonna have more wrinkles you see so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, uh, if you look at it it, it makes like this like um, it creates this impact simulation in the beginning and we, we like that impact simulation because it's gonna create more creases um, like furthermore in the animation so we're gonna uh, give him the size to 120 and here decrease it to like 100 okay maybe we can we don't have to have it like 120 but 110 is enough so so i'll show you yes and you see it it creates it's creates like this impact and it creates the the creases that we like so <clears throat> okay so we're, we we need to now we have like the cloth simulation you see like this looks uh quite nice and i think uh, it's working well so we're gonna wanna loop it so the way to loop it we need to i think increase this to like 175 and okay so we need to see some points that are like similar you see so let's let's cache it uh I'll show you what cache means. It means if you don't cache it, uh, the simulation is like you need to start at frame zero and it's basically the computer is calculating it as as the time moves. So you can't go back or anything. But if we cache it, <coughs> we can, we basically have the whole simulation already computed so we can go through it and see different. Okay, so um, we, we want to like find uh two similar points in our animation i think like this and this yeah that looks fairly similar so we have the plane and okay let's end our animation at uh 220 and uh let's uh let's duplicate the plane so uh, control c control v uh so now we have the second plane and we're gonna find some similar pose and here something like this okay maybe let's see maybe something like this and maybe we can increase the count okay so let's try to find something like where the pose is kind of similar and I think it's around here. Okay, so now we delete the cloth tech and the belt tech. So basically, uh, this this one stays in the same position. You see, and now we wanna add post morph to this to the first one. Let's let's rename it to plane one and plane two, so we have a better understanding. So uh, shift C and add post morph. So we have the post morph, and if you are using uh, Cinema 4D like older generations, it's okay to leave it like that. But if you are using something like S24 or S25, you need to put this priority to generators and increase the uh, the count to like 499. And we need to set uh, points because we want uh, points to we want to morph to uh, to look based on points. And we have base pose and pose zero. So our base pose is the plane. And if we go into advanced, we put the plane one here. And our pose zero is this plane. So now you see, if you uh, increase or decrease the strength, if, if it's 100, it looks exactly like this, like this plane two. So we can disable it in view. And we, we go best back to pose morph. And we're gonna uh, keyframe the strength. So with the strength keyframe to 100, we'll find another place to keyframe it to zero. So we have this animation. But if you look at it, uh, it's not really changing because we are in a edit mode. So you need to jump into animate. And now it's seamlessly changing to, to this one. So maybe I don't wanna go over there and just be like to seven, okay something like this yes it looks if you if you look like we have these same 
uh, poses on each end and we just want to make the transition seamless. So we need to tr uh, transfer this, this interpolation to linear. You might have it on, key, on spline, so please transfer it to linear. Okay, if you look at it, it already looks much better. You might need to further tweak it because sometimes, uh, for example, we want to remove the duplicate frame. So now it looks much, much more smooth. Okay, so now we have our loop cloth. Uh, you can tweak the cloth tag on also the post-morph tag uh, to, to get some different results. But basically this is the workflow to get uh, this animation going. And you can even like make these, uh, make the cloth dwells on different points if you want, because uh, as I'm looking at it now, it looks kind of like artificial, but uh, it's everything now to your <laughs> to your liking. So feel free to, to play with it. And also we can uh, further tweak it a bit and let's hold Alt and uh, put on cloth surface. So we put it under cloth surface and let's increase the thickness to something like 0 0.5, uh, which adds a bit of thickness to the, uh, if you look at it, it adds a bit of thickness to our cloth and subdivisions means that I'll show you. Uh, uh, we have more subdivisions in our cloth, so it's already uh, looking much smoother, okay? Um, so now if we play it, our cloth looks very, very smooth. So guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to check me out on Instagram or TikTok. I've been posting there lately. And also subscribe to this channel. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button. And guys, see you next time.